There we go. I got all the buttons, Barb. Yay! But we don't have anybody watching yet. We have no viewers yet. That's okay. They'll show up. They will. We have regulars. We sure do. You can do your announcements first. Oh. Well, do we have announcements? We have an. Oh, yeah. We have. There we are. We have a paper. We have a cheat sheet. All right. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Welcome to Two for Tuesday at my sewing room. I'm Chelsea. I'm Barb. That's Barb. She usually works in the long arm department, but mm -hmm. uh, today she's my hand embroidery expert. <laughs> I'm very excited to learn some new things today. Okay. This is a vintage craft. It is vintage, and yeah. it's great during stormy season when you have to turn off all your oh, sewing machines. Yes, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> you mean stormy season like what we've just had? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Apparently, you're supposed to turn off your sewing machine during that. Yeah. Keep them healthy. Yeah. And plug them if you can. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we've been I'm so lucky getting all the moisture this year. I mean, really, mm -hmm. seriously. So what are we talking about today, Chelsea? Uh, we are talking about hand embroidery, ways to do it, mm -hmm. different stitches, couple of different stitches and we have a bunch of tea towels that just came in oh a whole bunch do we oh, have tea my head might be in the way it's right there it is beautiful new tea towel and this is just a small selection of the mm -hmm. tea toweling that we have yeah these are all yeah. the ones we just recently ordered they're fabulous so, for those people who still do dishes by hand hey there's <laughs> lots of us that do that <laughs> yeah i know i know so it's always nice to have something pretty in your kitchen whether you actually use it to wipe the dishes or you kind of have another one tucked in behind mm -hmm. um it's it's nice to have something seasonal just a little a little bit of frou-frou hanging on the front of the stove it is lovely yeah and last week we made a little bit of frou-frou for my trailer Oh, we, what did you do? We did machine embroidery last week. Ah, yeah. Will you okay. tell me some new things? Mm -hmm. I learned pinpoint placement on a Bernina, which was really cool. You'll probably like this a whole lot better because it's called, yeah, anything goes. Oh, I like that. <laughs> anything goes. <laughs> Actually, I think there's, um, there's a few differences between doing a tea towel with machine embroidery and a tea towel with hand embroidery. And the first thing is, what are you going to use it for? Are you just going to hang it up for pretty and have that work one hidden in behind? Or are you actually going to use your embroidered tea towel to wipe the dishes with? Because that's going to that's gonna kind of dictate what sort of design and what sort of stitches you want to use. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you, you don't want to go to like 37 hours worth of satin stitch embroidery on a tea towel that your husband's going to wipe out the greasy roasting pan with. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. I know. Ew. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, that's the first thing you're going to do hmm. is you're going to decide what you're going to use it for. So I stole a tea towel from the kitchen. Because it's Love one it. that gets used. <laughs> and I, I stole a design from one of our hand embroidery books that we have here. Because the first thing people are going to want to do is transfer the design onto the fabric so they have somewhere to stitch. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. Not all of us can just go crazy. Ad lib? No ad lib? No okay. ad lib. All I don't right. ad lib so well. All right. <laughs> so... And no pinpoint placement either. No, no pinpoint There's placement. There's lots of ways to transfer design. I'm going to show you one way. Um, a lot of embroidery patterns, whether it comes in a book or everybody remembers these. Good old Aunt Martha's. Is, this is Stitcher's Revolution. Yeah. These are iron-on designs. So they are great for things like tea towels and great for the simple line stitching that most tea towels are done with because you just cut out what you want, do a little test in the corner or on a scrap of fabric first mm -hmm. and iron it according to the instructions on the pattern envelope 
and you have a print right on your tea towel. So if you look at those designs, see? If you, if you look at those designs, you can see most of them are just outlines, just a line. Mm -hmm. And that's quite, quite common for tea towels. The thing with the iron-on transfers is it's a permanent line. So you have to cover it, which is why most of the stitching is in a line. That makes sense. Yeah. If you don't want the line to show so much, you can always use our good old water erasable marker. And that's actually what I'm going to use today. We also have a really cool transfer <laughs> pen. I love these things. So let's say you found the perfect design and it's in a magazine. Uh, but it's just absolutely ideal. So this is an iron-on transfer pen that lets you trace the design with the pen and that turns it into an iron-on transfer. That's fantastic. They are really cool. And you can very often with any of the iron-ons, you can make more than one copy with the iron. It just gets progressively lighter. So that's another good way to work it as well. But I'm going to I'm going to cheat. I'm going to do it the quick and easy way. <laughs> sort of because I don't like my designs to show too much on here. I just... So I took a design in one of the books. You can't see this on the golden thread, but put it in the close up there, Chelsea. Did it turn? I did not there push it the is. button. Okay, so you can see I've got my golden threads paper and I've drawn the design just with a graphite pencil. I've traced the design onto the golden threads. It's really easy. It's one of my favorite products in the whole wide world is golden threads. So now I want to be able to transfer that onto my tea towel. How can I do that? Well, I'm kind of old school. I'll give you a top view there, Barb. Do we have a top? Oh, oh we, we sure do. do. We do. Awesome. So what I did, uh, <laughs> it's so cool, is I took my golden threads paper and I took my ironing mat and I took my spent needle out of the long arm because it's a pretty hefty needle. And you could actually do this in your sewing machine. And I perforated the design. Poke, 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 like that. Just with the, the needle. Just making a line of perforations. Because I really only need basic registration marks in order to transfer the design. Because I have the picture. I, I know where I'm going. So, just... Oh, I'm not going to do the whole flower. We'll, we won't have time today. We'll do it another time. <laughs> so I made my registration mark, my little pinholes in my paper here. Okay, so we're still underneath. Yeah, yep. you can't see that way, but that's okay. So now I have a transferable design. I can take my tea towel, and I do kind of want to center it. So I'm just going to roughly fold it in half, give it a good little finger press like that. Okay, there you go. So there's my line. I can take my pattern and set it right about there. Looks good. If I was getting really particular, I might tape it down. And I can take my water erasable marker and I want this to soak through the perforations. So I can kind of color really hard on those perforated lines. It's kind of cool. And if it if it tears through the paper a bit, hey, that's a bonus. <laughs> it just means we'll be able to see it better. So you could use a tracing wheel to perforate this. You could use a good old dressmaker's carbon. There we go. Let's get at least one stem transferred. Now if anybody has never done embroidery before, 
we did a learn to hand embroider class here a while ago had lots of fun mm -hmm. and it kind of walked you through the basic basic stitches so that is still available online it was a nice relaxing friday afternoons i better check and see if this is working yeah, kind of. It is, it's doing pretty good. I'm going to need a bit more there, a bit more there. I think that class was called One Stitch at a Time, Barb. Yeah. 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 So, just like pretty much most of our classes, it's available online or on our website mm -hmm. for you to sign up. And then, I know part of the problem is my pen is running out. I've been using it a lot. Oh, well, Let, let's run with that. Maybe while I finish transferring this, Chelsea, you can tell the nice people some of the other fun things that are going on. Oh, my goodness. Well, I think some of you might have heard that uh, Leah and Anne are going to be out at the store next week. Oh, the boss is away. What you, can we get into? Do you know where they're going? I don't know. They're going to Bernina University, so I'm they hoping sure it's in Switzerland. Uh, it is in the United States. Oh. And oh, well, that's almost as good. I heard a rumor from a little birdie that we are going to get Facebook live streams <gasps> throughout the week. Whoa. Not a regular Facebook times, though. So. Yeah, that could interfere with some of the things they're doing. Totally. So what's going to happen is they'll just hop on live. And if you want to know when they're going to be doing it, Hit the notification bell on your Facebook and we will be posting the videos later onto our YouTube channel. Oh. And I heard there might be a surprise accessory being revealed at uh, this event. Hmm. It's going to be interesting. If anyone has any guesses what this surprise accessory could be, throw them in the chat. Because I'm really curious what it's going to be. <laughs> and Leah hasn't told you? Leah doesn't know. Oh. Anne doesn't know. Oh. Nobody wow. knows but Bernina. We're uh, going to have to get Adrian and tie her to a chair and see it, see if she'll tell us. <laughs> we'll have a surprise something or other. It's, <laughs> it's exciting. I'm excited. I can't wait to find out what it is. <laughs> okay. So I have transferred just a portion of the design with my little perforations let's put oh, it under the yeah, under the close up there and then i was careful to go over sometimes they don't show up too well a little bit yeah a little bit and then i just took my water erasable marker and and went over the markings so that i knew i could see it it's really good okay so now we get to stitch on it oh goody the most common stitches uh, what do we want? Let's do a top view. Oh, don't they don't keep. need to look at me. I'll move this there we go. You. So the most common stitches for this type of work are either a back stitch or a stem stitch. I hate doing back stitch and I love doing stem stitch. So we're going to do stem stitch. That sounds good. <laughs> I've never done stem so, stitch. And you want to know a secret? If you do a beautiful stem stitch on the top and turn it over it looks like a back stitch cool. and if you do back stitch on the top and turn it over it's stem stitch underneath hmm. Hmm, how does that work That's alrighty so we're gonna get a nice little wooden embroidery hoop that's gonna fit our design and it's a small design because it's a tea towel, we want to make sure it, it's the fabric is fairly softly woven. So we want to make sure it's snugged in there. Loosen this on. Mm -hmm. It'll make it easier to stitch by snugging. Easier it. to stitch, and it keeps the the grain of the fabric nice and straight. And we just pop it in. Judy's hoping it's a magnetic embroidery hoop. That would be cool. <laughs> I really have no idea what it could be. <laughs> something or other of something. <laughs> okay, so I'm just easing the fabric around so that the grain lines are nice and square on that. Make sure it's tight. And 
Now, this is a tea towel that's going to get washed a lot. So, we want to make sure our thread stays secure. But we don't want a bunch of goobery knots on the back. So, how are we going to do that? Well, I'm going to come up through the fabric at the bottom of the stem. Pull up my needle, and I'm using two strands of DMC. Okay. And I am going to leave, turn it over for the nice people, about <laughs> three or four inches of thread on the back. Long enough that I'll be able to thread it through a needle when I'm finished. Okay? And I'm just going to leave it. So, no knots. When I taught the class, we said we, we are not knotty. Okay. okay. Now stem stitch we'll do maybe some of both <laughs> can people see oh it's far away but that's all right yes uh, do, you want, do you want to change you want places spot? how about if i change places with chelsea let's change places and put on that close-up for you that would work there you go okay there we go yes thread Much better <clears throat> uh oh except not in the chair around all right good so, we've come up through the fabric, we've got the needle and the thread, and I'm using two strands of DMC, get it under the camera, there we go. So, stem stitch is worked from left to right, and I'm going to go into the fabric. The heavier the fabric, the more strands of thread, the slightly bigger stitch you can afford to take. Okay. So, we're not going to work really tiny delicate, but that's okay. So, come here, needle. So, I'm going back into the fabric about, what would I say that? Maybe an eighth of an inch away. And mm -hmm. I'm going to come up in the same spot. This is my first anchoring stitch right there. Take that one stitch. Pretty. Cool. So, now if I go in an eighth of an inch away again, and I'm going to come up just past where I left the fabric so that your stitches are going to lay kind of like where I, kind of like that. Take another one. And then we go in and we come up. And you keep your thread always on the same side of the line. So. These feel like such huge stitches, <laughs> but we we kind of want it chunky on a tea uh, towel. We want to be able to see it from across the kitchen. And so, is that going to make it washable the way you're doing it? Oh yeah, the machine. Cool. DMC is um, color fast washable thread. I have tablecloths that I embroidered sixty years ago. 55 years ago and the thread is as bright as it was when I first stitched it. Neat. So this lasts a long time. It sure does. That's fantastic news because if you're putting hours and hours into it you want to make sure it's going to last. Yep. So you can see how we're making a nice straight line. See? Oh that looks beautiful Barb. And the thing I like about hand embroidery is it's it's tactile if there's texture oh, to it you can nice. feel it so and it goes fairly quickly yeah it does i i do not sew that fast i have <laughs> regular customers in the long arm who like to do hand embroidered quilt blocks um and then sew them together into quilts and then we can we can stitch them. I'm just untwisting the thread here. It does tend to wrap itself around. Come here, you. Because <laughs> I want to give myself a little more. There you go. I think sometimes the fun part of this, though, is all the different colors. I haven't checked recently how many different colors of DMC there are. Oh, goodness. I think there's too many colors to count. <laughs> <laughs> I would not know. How many? I think there's probably at least a thousand. What do you think? Oh, heavens, yeah. Yeah. We 
Yes. I don't know. So there should be so we've a, got color. our nice stem stitch line there. And this is what I say, when you turn it over, it's another nice straight line. Oh, yeah. With the, nice the stitches that aren't overlapping. Oh, it's fabulous. And this is about when you can kind of put your feet up and, uh, you know, Cubby's busy watching the football game. My husband has headphones for the TV so that he can watch things that I'm not interested in and he can just mute the TV and he can hear it and he can go up to the kitchen and get a snack and not miss anything. And I get a lot of stitching done in the evenings. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> I usually get all my sewing done in the mornings before I come to work. <laughs> Yeah, you no, know, it takes me like an hour to wake up. That's fair. That's fair. So, so we are just following that nice line that we made. And we've got little hearts in this design at the end of the line. Cute. So I'm going to want a different color thread for that. So now, when I get to the end, come here, thread, get out of the way. <laughs> the thread is traveling by itself now. going to go through to the back side and remember we are not naughty nope <laughs> so I'm going to take the thread and I'm going to carefully without catching the fabric weave it back underneath some of the stitches that I have made cool. as far as I want and this is a good place if you can to actually split the threads that you've stitched with because it's just going to hold it uh, more securely. So, lot, pop that out. So we do that and sometimes you just reverse back a bit just to make it a little more secure. Weave it under. So that's that end taken care of. And pull the needle off and we go back to our starting thread, this little guy here mm -hmm. where those snips go. This is the tricky part. You want a nice, yeah, okay. That's the <laughs> problem with studio thread snips. I'm not even in camera here. Yeah, <laughs> I could chew it off easier. Whose scissors are these, Chelsea? I don't know. <laughs> Cause they're definitely not very sharp. <laughs> doesn't look like it oh well we will just i don't have a sharp we'll try there, it's okay so we're going to thread our needle oh barb you're not on camera i'm i know that's okay. because i can either be on camera or i can see what i'm doing you know one or the <laughs> one other. or the other we don't get both <laughs> yeah. i still think we need a gopro in this place so then it would always follow you around yeah I'm not going to be able to get that until I get something that actually cuts. Tell the people some more exciting oh, stuff, Chelsea. I do have more exciting stuff. Speaking about Bernina, we have a Bernina class this week. We do? Yeah, it's the Bernina V8 software class. You're on camera. I... You can look excited. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Uh, it's called Then and Now Moving to V9. So we're going to learn lots more stuff. This, uh, the Bernina V8 software class has been going on for a few months now. So is, is that on Friday? It's on Friday. All right. Uh, Friday, July 5th, to be exact. <laughs> I had to write down the date. Friday, July 5th. Today's the 5th. Look at the screen. Oh my goodness. I wrote down today's date. <laughs> it's this Friday. So that would be, what is that day? Uh, five, six, seven, eight. Cause you know july <laughs> that is the day not july 5th because that is today we did not have that <laughs> class today <laughs> um next week we also have a really exciting brother class it's going to be applique on an embossed hoodie that's going to be really cool uh it's led by a bernina or a brother educator sorry and it's going to be an exciting class. It shows some really interesting new techniques, uh, like rip away applique. 
That'll, oh. That's cool. It's really cool. I promise. It's going to be fun. Um, and then on July 20th, we have the Stitch Party Gnome Sweet Gnome. Oh, Sandy will be excited about that one. Yes. And so will Anne. I know she loves gnomes, too. Mm. All the gnomes. <laughs> Gotta get gnomed out. <laughs> <laughs> um and we... so you have uh when when is the gnome class july 20th so you have approximately two weeks to come up with every single gnome joke that you can think of just for sandy oh gosh please <laughs> if you have any now and you don't want to forget them drop just them in them our down. comments yeah, or write a good them. idea yeah drop them in our yeah. comments come back later and check out this video <laughs> you'll have all your fun jokes it's amazing when you you have somebody like our sandy around and she loves to tell jokes uh, i was at the mall the other day mm -hmm. and i saw a poster with a joke on it so i had to take a photo of it and so i would remember to tell sandy the joke that's awesome. she's gonna use it sometime i can't wait so Okay, so what I have done, now that I've found some scissors that work, is made a nice, neat snip at the end of the thread, threaded it through the needle, and that's why I say you got to leave enough that you can actually kind of get in there. And then we are going to take that initial starting thread and just weave it in the way we did with our finishing thread. I like to sort of go forward, back it up, make it really secure. So, and I've even been known to actually just drive back that way. There we go. Take the needle out. It looks nice and secure. It is nice. Now that I found, I can't remember which ones worked, but that's okay. We'll try these. There. <laughs> you picked the right one. Yay. So... You can see the back side of the work looks just as good, or almost as good, as the front side of the work. That would make it really nice to hang up anywhere, really. It'll look pretty, and, and because it's a tea towel and it's being used, and it's, it's uh, you know, it could be draped the wrong way over, you don't have to worry about looking into all scruffy on the back. But that looks awesome. So there's one line. Now we get to pick a different color. Oh, goodness. And we'll maybe make Chelsea do some stitching. How long do we want to stitch for, Chelsea? Oh, gosh. Well, it's going to be a left-handed craziness, so maybe All not right. long. So <laughs> let's, let's let Chelsea um, give it a stab. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. So here's one thing you that I didn't do with the last one because it was short. When you got your embroidery thread and you're separating, you take one strand off like this. Just hang on to it and just pull. Oh, you get this lovely little little rat's nest, but it comes out so, fun. so nice and easy. Cool. But although we're stitching, do you want to stitch with a single strand? Sure. All it right. Sounds less crazy for me. Okay. <laughs> Now, I don't have a left-handed needle for you, I'm afraid. That's okay. I can, you, I can you, do a lot. You think you can manage? I okay. think so. So there's a nice heart. Okay. There you go. Well, let's, let's go for it. <laughs> all right. We'll get all untangled. Do you want a top view? Yeah, we can top okay, view. Okay, there you go. So we're going to find where we're going to be. So yeah, the tip there. Sit there push and we go through and we're going to stop it with four yeah. inches yeah. three however long yeah that okay. works and then i just kind of pick up Oop. Yep. barbie made it look so easy <laughs> <laughs> you know maybe just start let's, it off. let's translate let's translate this for a lefty okay so it's a right-handed person is going to work from left to right, but so I be you, that way. you could stitch it from right to left. Yeah, go ahead. So let's give it a try. No, I, come I from, went backwards. <laughs> yeah, come from this side. this side. The principle is the same. Good. There. Oh, that was much easier. Much easier, yes. Okay, so now your next stitch, that's right, and you want to keep this thread 
down below here oh yes yeah. okay so that all of your all of your stitches are overlapping so yeah you can hold it with your thumb that's why it's nice to work like in a hoop that. that's not too big okay just like that it looks all crazy. Barb's looks way nicer. Yep. You gotta keep, keep <laughs> your thread so your stitch keep comes, right thread here. comes on this side of it. And yeah. my stitch like that. Yeah. So if we hold this and down. And I come back up. Good. That's better. And now don't stab Barb. Oh, and don't stab. Yeah, you can stab yourself. Oh, <laughs> that makes more sense. See? Okay. Okay. So your thread is on the outside of the curve. Yeah. You made it look very easy, Barb. It's just practice, like so much of the things that we do around here. That's okay. I know one day Chelsea's going to try and teach me to paper piece. That's happening, actually. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, should we talk a little bit about that class? Well, we could, since it's not a secret anymore. It's, it's super not a secret. Yeah. <laughs> we have launched um, Patchwork in Paradise is the name of our next mystery quilt quilt along the classes and and the the when you first get your first chapter and your first block is going to be september mm -hmm. but um the class is ready to register in right now uh, we have three different colorways for the quilt uh, i'm quite excited about this i really like the quilt first off it worked out well. It's called like, hey, the, all the blocks went together. <laughs> <laughs> it really, it's a really cool quilt. It, it, it's kind of the same but different. It's pieced blocks, but there are options within the quilt for you to do machine embroidery if you like to do that. Some applique or some hand embroidery, however you want. There's, let's just say embellishment. Oh, gosh, so many embellishments. Yeah. So tons and tons of fun. Um, I'm really hoping that we're going to get, there's Robin from Maryland and Jamie from Texas. How about that? I'm really hoping that we're going to get some uh, wonderful out-of-towners participating this time because that's the nice thing with our Zoom classes is you don't have to be right here. We do have, I forget how many they said, eight in the classroom if you want to attend in person yeah, that's great and, and then uh, a whole slew of people can sign up for the virtual class so we're really excited about getting that one started and uh, yeah you can just give the store a phone call or sandy will be happy to subscribe you sandy's already signed up <laughs> yes sandy is sandy's already a part of it it's that's gonna be right. a really fun class i didn't check today to see how many how many I, students we I have? I think we're at 15. 15? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So lots of fun. And, uh, but the, <laughs> getting there. As I say, some of the blocks have options, and one of the options is paper piecing, which I have never managed to succeed at. So, yeah. I love paper piecing. How's it going there, Miss <laughs> Chelsea? You're working away. It's getting there i almost have a heart almost look at that here do you want to do you want to wave it under the um, close-up let's switch you over there you go it's hardish look very it? nice it's the first time i've actually ever did uh stem stitch yeah so this is fun very nice very fun very fun so kind of relaxing it is i find it really relaxing it's something to do with the um there they can see your face as you concentrate <laughs> You can see uh, my double chin, you mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's the glasses, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think it's the repetitiveness of taking the stitch, taking the stitch. And uh, once you get kind of the basics down of keeping the thread in the right spot, it's definitely easier. I yes. Will say that. <laughs> yeah. So maybe we can redo this another time I'll, I'll probably work on the tea towel the girls in the kitchen are gonna go hey i thought we had more tea towels in here well sorry <laughs> one got borrowed 
Sorry, and, one's getting um, really cutified. We'll finish our little design and maybe we'll be able to show people how to do the back stitch. Ooh. Which is the next most common stitch used on tea towels. Anytime you want to make a line, it's usually either stem stitch or back stitch. I have a heart. Yay! Uh, Hold it up for the, the nice people to see. It's a heart. Yay! That's, that's exciting. Right. So that design came from this little book, which has images. Actually, you can see it right here on the front cover. But that image is actually uh, done several times in different sizes for you. So lots of options to make even a uh, even a coordinated little house package of tea towel, tablecloth, table runner, little pillow uh, with very similar designs. And I noticed it goes through spring, summer, fall, winter, so you can do them seasonally. Really, really cute little designs. Also. So an awesome book. That was stitched so sweet, whimsical embroidery, patchwork, and applique. And we have that book in stock. We sure do. That's so that's why we have one. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I think I have one last class to mention. Yes, what's before that? we go for the day, Barb. Okay, what's that? Harvest table. Harvest table. Yeah, it'll be here before we know it. It is July already. Yes, oh, it's yes. starting in a month because it's on August fifth. I have the date <laughs> right now. <laughs> uh, we have three spots left. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is these, it. these classes go quickly, don't they? It's an excellent class, especially for beginners or advanced. Mm -hmm. um, we're allowing eight people in store, so get signed up as soon as you can. Mm -hmm. I, You might want to check at the front if we still have a spot in store available. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we have three spaces left in the class as a whole, and it is going to be so fun. <laughs> I know I always have fun in a good Kimberwell class. Yeah, yeah. They are really popular and really loud. I will say that. Barb has to Working in the long arm area. <laughs> I know. The Kim Kimberbell crew, I tell you, the, the ladies just have so much fun. I can hear them. Either that or Leah's got the volume turned up too loud, but that's all right. Maybe. <laughs> I, I know all the girls in store. We have a lot of fun, and the girls online do too. Yeah. Yeah. So Good. Yeah, that's my last class to talk about. Um, so if you enjoy today, like, comment, subscribe. That's right. Uh, and join us for more. And if you want to see some fun, fun lives next week, coming right from Bernina Ooh. University, don't Where forget to. Whereabouts in the states is it? Do you know? I don't remember the spot. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Someplace I'm down there. with the United States. It's only like 50-something states, yeah, right? Okay. It just, could be just, anywhere. Just pick one. <laughs> I know it's not here. <laughs> okay. And it's going to be hot down there. Oh, I expect, yeah. Hot, hot, hot. Yeah. In the desert, I think. Was... Oh, well, that's okay. I we'll remember one year they were down in uh, New Orleans. Ooh, that yeah, was cool. That was different. Neat. That was different, so. Neat out. Well, I'm sure... Uh, Sandy's up tomorrow for Facebook. She sure is. She'll be able to tell tell people more about it. Or I'm guessing Leah's in Thursday. I think so. Yeah. So you can bug Leah about it. Yeah. I'm sure Leah will know where she's going. Maybe not, but <laughs> <laughs> I think she does. Okay. She has a plane ticket. Oh well. <laughs> hey. Yeah. I hope I hope she's um, lined up at the airport already. Yeah, I I heard wait <laughs> times are getting bad at airports. Um, I have to take a plane next week too. Actually, I won't be here. Where either. are you off to? I'm headed to Vancouver. Oh, that's not so bad though. No, yeah. no. Yeah, and I won't have a checked bag. Yeah. Okay. So but, you, you should be all right. I hope so. I might have to. Can I bring a needle on an airplane? You think? I I would double check with the regulations because I know at one time you couldn't. But I think mm. they have eased some of that sort of stuff by now. I'll check it out. So double check that. If not, and I'll have to bring glue and do some uh, English paper piecing. Yeah, you could do that. But if you're allowed the needle but not the scissors, don't forget those little clover cutters. Ooh, yeah. They work really well for snipping your um, 
embroidery thread. For the necklace one, nobody will yeah, know the that I have, a, one. Yeah, I have a sharp thing that I've got. Yeah, That's so. fun. <laughs> okay. Well, have a lovely Tuesday, everyone. It is currently 21 degrees. Why are we all indoors? It's not raining. Well, Barb, the studio's inside, so oh. we can't go outside. Oh, come on. We can, we can, <laughs> let's move it out under the apple tree sometime. We'll oh. get Tyler to set us up out there. And, uh, we Next should do time. that. That Next would time. be so fun. That would be fun. We could just go out the door. Yeah. I love this <laughs> idea. Okay. okay. Unfortunately, we do have to compete with the traffic on McLeod Trail. This so. is true. Well, yeah. maybe we could go to Fish Creek. Yeah. Try our wireless. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, everybody, for joining us. If you're interested in the hand embroidery, don't forget to check out our uh, class catalog and uh, sign up for the learn to hand embroider class and check out a lot of our other classes too yes we have lots of classes popping up yeah all the time awesome i know stitching in the kitchen we'll have to talk about next oh, week okay or the week after okay well maybe we'll, maybe our tea towel will be done by then <laughs> <laughs> then we can embroider in the kitchen sure it's going to be an epic class too good awesome well